Hi, my name is Jeff Doherty and I'm from Angel's Garden Center. Today I'm here to talk to you about firewood. Everyone is ordering firewood at this point because they're getting ready for winter. And what I'd like to give you is a few hints on what to look for when you order firewood. Firewood comes by the cord and a cord is measured by 128 cubic feet. This pile that's behind me represents a cord of firewood. What we have here is 16 inch cut and split and this is green. This is considered green because it was done within the past two months. We carry green, semi-season, and fully season. Fully season is anywhere from nine to 12 months of being cut and split and being able to dry out. If you'll see these two pieces that I've pulled out, you'll see that the wood is gray. So that's weathered a little bit and has been seasoned for at least four months. The other way to tell firewood that's been seasoned is the ends because that's how firewood dries, is from the ends of the wood. And if you see a dark piece of wood like that, that means that that's been seasoned. If it looks clean, it's just been cut. If the wood smells acidic, it's just been cut. So those are the things that we like to look for. We also carry firewood in a pallet. So that pallet is considered four feet by 40 inches by three and a half feet high. So that's actually a third of a cord. People like that because it's the right size, the pieces aren't too big, everything in there is seasoned, it's all a good mix of hardwoods, and it's ready to burn. We can deliver that to your driveway. We also can deliver in half cord increments or full cord. And as I said earlier, this pile represents a full cord. The other way that you can measure it is we have a rack set up to my left, and that rack is eight feet long, it's four feet high, and a piece of wood that's 16 to 18 inches is considered 1.4 feet. So if you took three of those, you would have more than a cord. Or one of those increments, eight by four by 1.4, would give you a, a face cord or a half a face cord. But actually when you do the math, it comes out to 2.85, so that's why I said three of those racks. And people like setting it up on a rack so that the wood doesn't touch the ground and pick up the moisture. It's also a good idea to stack your wood so that it's getting some sun. You want to put a tarp over the top, but you want the ends to be exposed to the air on either side. So I always tell people, try and stack it somewhere where it's gonna get the sun. And don't put it 500 feet away from your house because when the snow is three feet deep and you gotta make a path to get there, it really becomes a cumbersome task. So hopefully those hints will help you when you're ordering firewood. And please feel free to stop by Angel's Garden Center anytime and we'll be happy to help you out with any of your questions on firewood. Thank you.